Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for watching this video and please, while you're here, do not forget to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram. I hope it's not too echoey today. Even though I'm wearing a mic, I'm a little bit concerned because um, we just took off our curtains and blinds and we have them washed. So yeah, if there's a little bit of echo, I'm sorry, that's the reason. But we are here today to talk about some new fragrances that I have here with me and I think it's going to be very exciting because you asked me to review this particular collection. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And uh, before we do, actually, I want to remind you that I have a discount code for Julia Jewelry. Everything is linked below. Julia Jewelry is the brand that I worked with for my whole time on YouTube almost and I'm always super grateful when they send me new pieces I absolutely love their stuff and I just got a new beautiful stack and I wore it in my last video and many of you asked me about it so here it is it's from Julia and this is a gorgeous sterling silver necklace that goes all around with diamond haze around your neck so there's no uh, metal showing through this is um, beautiful beautiful gems all around so yes beautiful beautiful slightly bigger tennis necklace that i'm just in love with uh, i usually wear julia in my videos if i don't talk about it it's still linked below guys for you uh, this piece is also from julia absolutely gorgeous beautiful pink ring and I have it stacked with two other Julia pieces like those little eternity bands but a little bit different um, and they hack the ring so so beautifully so yes gorgeous brand check them out the link is below you will get your money off they're still quite inexpensive for the quality and what they're doing so discount code added up to it you're gonna be very very happy of the price point of the jewelry so check it out and uh, I'm gonna start with the most exciting one I only got one and I'm very sorry I will get more and I will review them you know like a batch but uh, you have been asking me about the newest Zara Oud collection and I must say there are not too many that I really really fell in love with I sniffed them in Zara and I picked up one I wanted to pick up two but they didn't have it in stock so I have to order it online but this one is gorgeous and this one is called hipster oud and as you can see they really are taking care of the packaging nowadays I really really like how it looks I paid 80 PLN Polar Zloty so I think it's around 18 euros kind of yeah so let's go ahead and sniff it I haven't sniffed it for a while but I wore it and I might say that the longevity is very very good so this is how the bottle looks like this is their typical a little bit more elevated collection as you guys know i have so many of the previous collections in these bottles and i love them so much uh, i will link the video where i review them for you but yes this is the newest one hipster oud uh, there is also another one that i really really love and it is chocolate based um, but I will review it once I get it. So hipster oud is a gorgeous saffrony fresh rose oud combination really really beautiful. It has some pepper to it So pretty guys so so pretty oh, And it's like a little bit vanillic very smooth almost gourmand leaning really really pretty fragrance definitely a unique one i wouldn't say it is a dupe of anything when you look up fragrantica and search for this fragrance people literally compare it to everything under the sun so if it's everything it's probably nothing that it is really similar to but in general it's slightly maybe like Carolina Herrera, very good girl, you know, that type of rosy, not too jammy, more like a powdery but still fresh of a rose. 
really pretty this one is super pretty um, as i said i will be getting more of these but there were really like two including this one that i really like was oh my god i need to have it the rest i will still review it for you but i'm not that in love with the note structures but hipster oud the name I'm also a little bit on a fence with, but in general, Hipster Oud is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Another one from Zara that I highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, again, the bottle is beautiful. It is more of this elevated collection. It looks beautiful on the counter. And Hipster Oud is unlike anything, but it's so, so wearable. And I think I will wear it a lot. Uh, even though it's a Oud-based fragrance, of course, it's artificial oud, but we all know that, right? Um, this is going to be perfect for spring and summertime. So, yes, guys, hipster oud has definitely my stamp of approval. Um, the other ones, again, as I get them, I will tell you my thoughts on them. Uh, but the one that I found is my favorite. Favorite is hipster oud. It is beautiful. It is feminine. It can be worn by men, of course, uh, but it is very um, flirty, rosy, a little bit citrusy and peppery fragrance. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. So hipster oud. Again, the longevity is really nice and the projection, I would say, is moderate. So yes, that is the first one. And now we're going to explore very, very exciting exploration is ahead of us because I got a package of the whole collection of commodity fragrances and they basically have a great concept of their perfumes they have three versions of the same scent that differs slightly but the main thing is that one of them is a personal sillage so something that is great for work for more intimate occasions if you do not want to be too offensive with your fragrance then we have the expressive version which is basically higher in perfume oil concentration and this is like this ultimate perfect medium between being too bold and too personal so this is like your typical strength of the fragrance and the third one which obviously is my favorite version that is bold and bold is really really bold there is a massive performance here massive sillage so yes guys i think everyone will find something that they like in here and let me just go through their fragrances so this is how the exploration kit looks like what i must say I really love it. The thought put into this whole presentation is really nice. I love when brands do go that extra mile and give us something that really doesn't have to be amazing but still is incredible. So you open it like this, great concept as a brand. And once again, the levels of intensity of each fragrance will give you more control of how strong and how you really want to smell. Uh, so yes, that is amazing. As I said, there are three. So there's personal, which is the closest to the skin. Uh, then we have expressive, which is that, you know, perfect balance of longevity and projection for most people. And then last one, we have bold that you will probably love to use on nights out, on, you know, very big, important events and parties and date nights and all that stuff. So bold is definitely the strongest version. And I actually have, I think this is their whole collection. So we have moss, we have paper, we have milk, velvet, gold and book. So I will go through each fragrance with you and I will tell you which intensity is my favorite for each fragrance. So let me go ahead and get started. Also, when you get this exploration kit, which of course I will link below for you, um, the link to their website and everything you need to know, you have all the guidelines on how to choose the perfect intensity for you. So you just follow the steps that are in this brochure 
and you are good to go but let me just start with the fragrances so the first one i want to talk to you about is book and the name is so intriguing to me as soon as i got the set i was like oh my god i really need to smell the book because i really want to know how it smells does it smell like that fresh you know that fresh paper of a newspaper or a book when you open it mm, we all love it don't we so book is described as a crisp woody fragrance we have some eucalyptus we have cypress we have creamy sandalwood so in general this will be a gorgeous woody fresh fragrance in the personal version we have added black tea and skin mask and in the bold version we have velvet mask and smoke so let me go ahead and start with the regular the middle version of the fragrance which is book and I must say I fell in love with it so so badly like I really need all the bottles possible just gorgeous just just gorgeous this is so beautiful guys it really is enveloping but fresh at the same time there's not too much sweetness here but you get a lot of milkiness so if you like fragrances like um, Van Cleve & Arpel, Santal Blanc, uh, I think you're gonna love it. It's calming, it's beautiful, it is very unisex but it's very smooth at the same time. I think most people will love book and that was the regular version. Then we have the personal version. Yes, and in the personal version, you get definitely more airiness and you get that beautiful hint of tea, which I'm always here for. So yes, book regular and book personal. For regular, I mean, you know, that middle ground of a fragrance. So I will refer to these as the regular. I hope that's okay. Um, with the regular and the personal, I love them. They're very airy, they're quite fresh, but not citrusy at all. And they have beautiful milky creamy woods in the dry down uh, with the addition of black tea in the personal version. And now we have book intense, so the bold one. And this one has added velvet musk and smoke. And I must say, this one is incredible as well incredible this one is definitely stronger and this one is definitely incensey so i really love it about it if you love smoky fragrances i think you're gonna love the bold version of the book uh, however i must say from the all three i think my favorite is the regular one which is the expressive this one because of that eucalyptus that's very very strong in here and that creamy sandalwood is definitely my favorite so yes that is book i think no matter which one you get you'll be happy they are similar to each other don't get me wrong these are just the nuances that you feel and smell when you wear them uh, but yes to me the regular version of book is my favorite uh, next one that we have is called gold and gold I must say is incredible so in the regular version we have that beautiful vanilla sandalwood mask and amber and when I smelled gold for the first time I was like give me more give me more just gorgeous guys if you love vanilla you will be intoxicated intoxicated with gold i really really hope to get the bottle because gold is so so up my alley and i think that you know guys most of you watch my videos because you do have quite similar tastes to mine and yeah i think with gold you're gonna die you're just gonna die absolutely gorgeous and this is that yummy creamy vanilla I would say the vanilla in here is quite similar to the vanilla that you get in Dama Bianca from Zajov, you know, that like this fluffy, beautiful vanilla, but in here it's enveloped in that gorgeous oriental musk and amber, beautiful fragrance. It is sweet, 
definitely then we have the personal version so the lightest of them all and this one is basically the regular version with added ISO E super uh, so basically Juliet has a gun molecule 01 you know all those very clean smelling woody molecular fragrances um, so I think this one is also very interesting because not many fragrances combine such note as the main one with those oriental embers and this to me it's still very sweet but this one is more airy and very very creamy I don't know why it's so creamy but to me it just smells divine I would say with this one, and I think it's because of that added molecule, uh, you do get quite a bit of alcoholic smell in the beginning. And then just like the molecule or one or Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, it will, um, you know, settle in your skin in a very creamy, woody way. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So that is gold regular and the skin scent the personal version and now we have the bold one and that one packs a punch guys this one packs a punch like no other whoa so this one gold plus is definitely the most middle eastern leaning fragrance that they have in general it is very very middle eastern leaning to me and that is because we have added nutmeg, saffron and patchouli in here. So this one is definitely bold. It does dry down very similarly to the expressive version, so the regular one. But this one is definitely oomph and this one is a perfect Arabian Princess fragrance to me. Uh, with these three, I must say my favorite again is the expressive version the regular one it is so beautiful on that vanilla and you do really smell the amber and I am so here for it I love that type of fragrance uh, with gold plus the bold version mm, I have quite a bit of fragrances that have saffron and patchouli added and you know have that very strong Middle Eastern touch so if I were to choose I will go with the regular uh, all right guys now we've got velvet and velvet the regular one is a sweet smoky and elegantly exotic fragrance it's woody ambery uh, it has roasted almonds rose petals and black amber it is a very very refined gourmand with a smoky sillage so if you know me you know that velvet is definitely going to be my favorite so let me just spray it guys this one is incredible oh my goodness oh my goodness this this just takes me back somewhere in my head and i cannot pinpoint it but it is just incredible to me velvet the regular one is regular one it's also slightly middle eastern leaning thanks to those embers you know and the smokiness but you still get a lot of sweetness it is just so so beautiful and it is indeed velvety smooth so yeah gorgeous fragrance um, then we have the personal version and in personal we have added again skin mask and vanilla flower so in here there's a big 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 potential to have it as your perfect vanilla velvety fragrance for the daytime for work oh so beautiful so so beautiful it's insane i love velvet they are just incredible and then we have last but not least velvet plus uh, which has added saffron patchouli and smoke so this one will also be slightly middle eastern leaning but to me not as much as gold plus and don't get me wrong this is a good thing that they are middle eastern leaning like i love middle eastern fragrances and in here in velvet plus i definitely do pick up on a lot of saffron 
If you love fragrances like Baccarat Rouge, I think you're gonna love Velvet Plus. It's not similar at all, but um, I think if you like one, you will love the other. Very unique fragrance, still saffron based, but it's so velvety with that beautiful vanilla and smokiness, gorgeous fragrance. So with these three, when it comes to velvet, I think I love the regular one and bold, the plus, the most. So yes, um, I don't really know how to choose. They all are amazing. Mm. As you can see, I'm not choosing too much of the personal ones. Um, and that is just because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of skin, skin scents, that fragrances that are closer to the skin. But if you have a job that requires something non-offensive, uh, you will love them. And don't get me wrong, guys, they are still long lasting. They don't just, you know, perform as wildly as the rest of them um, but all of these fragrances are very long-lasting I must say uh, with the personal one I'm very much digressing but I hope that's okay the personal one on me it stays for around six to seven hours same as the regular the expressive versions and the bold ones are like 10 hours plus so yes with the velvet one to sum up um, I like bold and regular just the same and now guys i think um this is the perfect unisex fragrance and this is called moss so moss regular is described as green and woody uh, with a touch of morning dew this blend of oak moss cedar wood and petit grain are reminiscent of a walk through the woods at dawn wet cool clean and reviving yes moss is very interesting it's definitely non-sweet it is a very savory fresh fragrance and i must say i really adore it to me this one is beautiful it really does take you to some forest you know at dawn and it really is wet it really is wet very very interesting it has some sweetness from that petit grain that gives you that citrusy touch and also it's slightly slightly sweet uh, but not too much at all and beautiful woods all around you just wow uh, with the personal version we again have um added skin mask just like in velvet and in uh, the book one and we have iso e super as well so this one is a little bit more citrusy definitely fresher um, and very very musky i really like it it's definitely very fresh and airy um yeah like this is just a perfect perfect daytime fragrance gym fragrance it's just gonna intoxicate you beautiful just beautiful and then we have moss plus and that one has my favorite note at the moment which is juniper berry i love juniper berries i grew up around them and you know this is like my favorite scent of the childhood and uh, then we have amber added and also patchouli uh, so with that one moss plus Moss Plus is, I must say, some people might think of it as a masculine fragrance, the bold one. The regular one, not. The personal, not. But the bold one is definitely slightly more masculine leaning. But I adore it so much. So much. It's incredible. Ah, it's definitely more cologne -y. And even though I love that juniper berry, it is a little bit, maybe slightly too masculine for me. I would still wear it, but I think on the men, this is going to be immaculate. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. So that is Moss Plus. And for me, the one that I would choose for myself is the regular moss the expressive version it has just the most beautiful blend of freshness and wetness and woodiness 
just beautiful so that is moss my darlings and we have two fragrances left that i actually think might be my favorites low-key but high-key at the same time so um paper the regular one is a creamy sandalwood and the dry down has cedar wood reminiscent of fresh linen and yeah this is basically what paper is about and it slightly really does smell of that you know um, i really really enjoyed this fragrance it is definitely not something that you smell out of the paper <laughs> jokes on you uh, and you know how it smells you do have to put it on your skin yeah it is very crisp on my skin it is slightly like citrusy as well um then we have paper personal and that one is basically the regular paper with added skin mask and crisp amber um and this is described as your skin but better of a scent and i completely agree uh it has a molecular molecular amber it has this ambery molecular amber as they call it opening and they are both very very original of scents actually let me spray paper personal on this hand on this side of the hand yeah so good so so good very crisp it actually lays on me way better than paper regular i must admit and then we have paper plus so the bold version and in paper bold we pretty much have the same notes as the paper regular with added vetiver so something a little bit more earthy uh, also this one this one does um have this beautiful slight sweetness to it that i really really like um it is described as a vetiver fragrance with wet woods and it has some earthiness to it so this one i think most people will really really love um the whole paper range is very inoffensive in general in my opinion and very likable there's nothing too in your face about that range to me these are definitely your skin but better scents and not just the um areas version i mean all of them to me all of them are very very inoffensive they are so nice on your skin however the regular paper doesn't really go well with my personal ph unfortunately it is beautiful but on my skin it doesn't develop as much as i would want to it it goes a little bit like soury like yeah at at some point i really don't like how it develops so my two favorite are actually the areas the personal one and the bold one so with paper go either for the skin scent or the bold one if you like a little bit of sweet earthiness to your fragrances they are just beautiful and last but definitely not least guys and um i went just as the brochure goes so page by page and they put it as last but to me this is my favorite this is my favorite there's nothing i can do about it and that is milk so milk the regular version is a marshmallow fragrance enhanced with mahogany wood and tonka bean the cold milk accord adds a cooling element to an otherwise rich and warm fragrance <sighs> just the description guys i am already <laughs> salivating on it you know like a little puppy oh my god this is life this fragrance gives me life if probably i could have only one fragrance in my life at the moment it would be the milk range from commodity just beautiful it's sweet very sweet it's very fluffy you definitely do get that marshmallow oh and it's woody so it's like my two favorite things in the world sweet and fluffy 
and woody. Wow. Yes, so milk, the expressive regular one, is to die for. Then we have the personal version, uh, which has added uh, cashmere woods and skin musk. And it is a sweet, sugary hug. Like, guys. To me, they are very similar. This one is just lighter. That's how I would differentiate them. Maybe my nose doesn't sense everything in that fragrance, but to me, they're just very, very similar. And on my skin, they also are very similar, but the personal one, of course, has less intensity to it. Ah, And then, of course, we have Milk Plus, so the bold version. And this one is um, the Milk regular with amber and firewood accord added uh, a smoky sweet and inviting scent to be worn with confidence and guys oh milk bold is just incredible i have never smelled something like this before incredible fragrance it's just hard to describe what i'm smelling that that firewood accord i think that is it it's ambery it's still sweet but not as sweet as the other two this one is definitely less sweet but it's just beautiful just beautiful so from the milk line i would say my absolute favorite is the expressive the regular one but I also highly, highly recommend checking out the bold version. Ooh, so yes, guys, that is it. That is my full first impression slash review of the commodity line. I really, really love the brand in general. They have beautiful bottles. They have a nice concept. They are long lasting, which I love. Uh, and the concept of having uh, a choice between the intensity of one just one fragrance is incredible um, of course most of the time i would choose the regular one or the bold one uh, but i think the skin scents the personal ones definitely do serve a purpose as well so yes guys choose whatever you want you have so much to choose from and yes i will definitely come back to you with other zara wood fragrances uh, maybe i will buy some more of the newer releases that they have from other ranges and maybe i will do like a nice combined haul of zara fragrances so that is it for today guys of course do not forget to check julia jewelry as well because i have a great discount code for you and look how beautiful it is it shines like real diamonds there is really no difference to a naked eye uh, between a diamond and julia stones so impeccable quality and nothing happens to it no matter what you do with it um, i wash in it i bathe in it i swim with them nothing ever happens so yes guys check them out of course commodity fragrances will be linked below as well for you and yes guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one bye